energy, meaning the strength and vitality required for sustained physical or mental activity. Vitality, vigor, life, liveliness, spirit, fire, passion, zeal, spark. And as Hebrew, and what I said was, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh the Father in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. Teaching his word is sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick lesson, and I'm going to entitle it, Keep the Same Energy. All right, now that's just a figure of speech, you know, used on the street. You know, you know, keep that same energy. You know how when you're telling Jake, you know, they act in a certain way, you say, yo, keep that same energy. All right, well, this figure of speech can be applied two ways, in righteousness and also for those that are wicked. Because those that are righteous, which is following the ways of Yahweh Bashem Shai, teaching and pushing his truth, all right, that have repented sincerely to Yahweh Bashem Shai, keep that same energy, all right? Keep the same faith, the integrity toward Yahweh Bashem Shai. And as the scriptures say, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. So keep that same energy. <clears throat> All right, and unto the wicked, it can be applied because as the scripture reads, Revelations 22 and 11, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. All right, uh, one thing, uh, Apostle Paul made mention of was uh, Romans in 11 and 7, which I'm going to read because um, those that are filthy, the Most High have made them filthy. All right. And if he wanted to clean them up, he can. He cleaned us up. You know, we all were Gentiles. But because the Most High blew his breath upon those dry bones and woke up the men. All right. Now the rest of the elect can wake up as well. All right. So now this is Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. So let the filthy stay filthy. Let the unjust be unjust. There's no need, you know, to, uh, you know, have a headache uh, striving to break down the scriptures to a nigger. All right, or to a, a harlot, because if it's not for them, they can't receive it. So this is Romans 11 and 7 again. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So if you sleep and they can't get it, that's because the Most High have blinded them. So this is verse 8. According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David say, let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. So not only the Lord have blinded them, even King David said, let their sins, let their table be made a trap unto them, and a stumbling block. And then it says a recompense unto them, which is going to, which is going to, uh, a payback. All right. For all the wickedness they have done. <clears throat> all right. So if they can't get it, like the apostles say, we're moving on, man. And, uh, this lesson was inspired from a conversation I had earlier. And, uh, it's just, is, it is what it is, man. All right. So keep that same energy. All right. I'm going to read again. Revelation 22 and 11. He that is unjust. Let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still.
keep that same energy. All right. And why uh, I thought of this too from the conversation earlier and because we're, we're approaching the time of the end of Esau's kingdom and Esau is going to, you know, he's going to come like a roaring lion. All right. We're approaching the time of Jacob's trouble. And even if Jacob's trouble is two years from now, God forbid. But guess what? Two years from now is tomorrow. All right. The days are moving fast. So when he's when the Lord allowed these Edomites and these foreign nations to come into this land. And put boots on the ground. You know, the military stormtroopers open up concentration camps and bring you to the hour of temptation and tempt you with the mark of the beast. Keep that same energy. All right. <clears throat> Keep that same energy. I'm going to read one more time, man. This is a beautiful, uh, beautiful verse. Revelations 22 and 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Keep that same energy. All right. You know, when there's lack of food and water, call on the gods in which you believe. Call on Allah. Call on Buddha. Call on Jesus Christ. Hey, Zeus. Keep that same energy. All right. This is Proverbs 17 and 15. He that is ju he that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination unto the Lord. All right. So keep that same energy. If you're justifying wickedness, you're promoting and justifying homosexuality. All right. Promoting adultery like these rappers. All right. These wicked ass evil rappers. And they're justifying wickedness. The government passing laws for homosexual rights. Edomites putting themselves out there to be and their children to be this uh to be this uh how can I say putting themselves out there as an example and making wicked as a norm keep that same energy because judgment is around the corner so he that justified wickedness he that justified the wicked and he that condemneth the just so if you condemning the brothers for teaching Coming against the doctrine, the gospel of the Lord, and you ashamed of the Lord, and you're not speaking according to scriptures as the scriptures say, there's no light in them. If they don't speak according to scripture, keep that same energy. Don't bitch up when the Lord brings judgment at your doorstep. Don't bitch up. Keep that same energy. Okay? Keep that zeal. Keep that passion. Keep that spirit. Keep that spark. All right. It says even they both are an abomination unto the Lord. So for those who justify wicked and condemn the just, the Lord look at you as a filthy animal. OK, because he says even they both are an abomination unto the Lord. An abomination is a filthy act. OK, a filthy act. And that's why I read Revelation 22 and 11. He that is filthy, let him let him be filthy still. All right. So let's move on. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Salakia. So Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. All right, because here it is today the false philosophies, the religions, all right, the ideology and how people live. You know, they call the evil good. You know, now the government has allowed, you know, <clears throat> individuals to worship Satan, to have Baphomet statues and for people to go down and, you know, the music industry is evil, promoting adultery, promoting whoredom, promoting evil, demonic uh, uh, witchcraft. It says, woe unto them that call evil good. So if you think those things were good, well, the Lord said death and destruction unto you. Keep that same energy. All right. It says in evil, it says in good evil. So for the men that stand up in righteousness, the men of the Lord. 
and you call what they're doing or what we're doing, prophesizing on the street, condemning, reproving, rebuking, and exhorting the name of the Lord, crying out loud, sparing not, lift up, lift, lift up in their their voice like a trumpet to show to show the Lord's people their transgressions. You call that evil? Well, woe unto you. Keep that same energy. It says that put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Exactly. Because everyone today are haughty, right? Having a, the life of pride, you know? It says, woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes, thinking that, you know, life revolves around you. As if, you know, you can determine whether you live or die. The scriptures say man's going is of the Lord. How then can he find his own way? So woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink, which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble and the flame consumeth the shaft, so their root shall be as rottenness, rottenness, and their bosom shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts and despise the word of the Holy One of Israel. So not only you cast away the laws of the Lord, all right, but you despise the word of the Holy One. So keep that same energy. Therefore, is the anger of the Lord kindled against against his people and he have stretched forth his hand against them and have smitten them and the hills did tremble and their carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. And that just proves that our Lord, our heavenly father is a merciful power. Even though after all what Israel have, is doing right now and their wickedness, you know, wise to do evil, the Lord still has his hand stretched out and that's turning to the elect. All right. <clears throat> because right now the heavenly father is angry. OK, and he's angry with his people. And who is his people? You so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians. You are the Hebrew Israelites and the Most High has a controversy with you. He's angry right now. All right. And the only ones that, that can um, please or delight the Lord is the elect. All right. So it says for all his anger is for all this. His anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. And that's until the days the doors of repentance close. All right. So this is Matthew chapter 24, 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. Because why? Noah prophesied for many years. He prophesied of the flood and who was delivered him, his wife. All right. His three sons and their wives. And they all mocked Noah, you know, as if it would never would rain. But when that rain came down and them doors closed up on that ark, the most high put a seal on that door that no other man can enter therein. All right. Except for Noah and his family and their wives. So. That's why it says, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the son of man be because the Lord is coming like as a thief. So the figure, the, the, the motto is the, the, well, let's say the, the message is keep that same energy, man. All right. <clears throat> it says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And it's the same thing as today. This is why Yahweh Shai prophesies of this. All right. Because just like it was in the past, it's just like it is now. People are marrying, eating and drinking, partying, you know, having the, 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 the world of fun, you know, of sin, you know, because in order to have fun in this world, in this society today, while Esau is ruling, you got to be lover. You got to be a lover of sinner. You got to be a lover of sin, man. Excuse me. You got to be a lover of sin. Cause that's the only way you're going to enjoy yourself in this God forsaken, wicked place. All right. Cause other than that, you're going to be mourning. All right. Praying for the Lord to return, man. So it says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, 
marrying and giving in marriage. Sex, you know, that's that's heavy. That's heavy today. That adultery. All right. It says until the day that Noah entered into the ark. They knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming the coming of the Son of Man be. Because Jehovah Shah is coming. All right. He's coming, man. And we know the way that he is, but we don't know the hour, time, and day. All right. But we know the way that he's coming. And that's why keep that same energy can apply to the men of righteousness, pushing the truth and sincerity. And your spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is that we have to keep our garments. We have to gird up our loins and, and keep our garments, man, and keep uh, pushing this truth, being conditioned in this truth, you know, ready to look up for, for what? Redemption, for salvation. All right. So it says, then shall two be in the field and one shall be taken and the other left. And that's 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 heavy there because this time. When the children of Israel get delivered out of bondage, only the elect is getting delivered. So that's why the motto is keep that same energy. You know, you big and bad, you tough, you got it all mapped out, you think you know it all, keep that same energy. It says, then shall two be in the field and one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour the Lord doeth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. All right. And this is why we're, we're also called the men of the Lord. They're called watchmen because they're watching constantly, consistently, in season, out of season, watching what? Prophecy, waiting for the Lord to reprove them. All right. Because they don't want to be taken like as a thief in the night. You know, their house is broken up. They don't want their houses broken up. All right. It says verse 44. Therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the son of man come. <laughs> Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom the Lord hath made ruler over his household? To give them meat in due season. Blesses that servant whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. So keep that same energy. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, which is his mind, make lo uh, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, meaning you going back into the world, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. All right, so I'm going to leave you with that. Keep that same energy. All right, it's just a figure of speech Jake using it in the hood and streets, you know. You talk to somebody, they, they tough or whatever it is, you know, hey, bro, keep that same energy. Keep it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so I just want to put that into a lesson because it applies on both sides for the good and the evil. You know, keep that same energy when the Lord approaches, when the Lord comes and meets you at your doorstep. All right. And we'll see, you know, who will um, prevail, man, who will persevere. All right, because the elect is going to make it through this through this rough time, man. All right. <clears throat> but the wicked, you're going to be destroyed. You know, your pride. Scriptures say pride go before a haughty fall. Pride lead, leadeth into destruction. All right. Climbing up some other way, you know, doing it your way and not the Lord's way is going to lead to your demise. So, hey, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.